So let's take a look at how to make a Google website to use as an artist portfolio. So once you are at Google Sites, make sure you're logged in, you are going to click the plus button that says blank site. Once you click, it will open up just kind of a template area for you to start building your website. So if you look over on the right hand side where it says insert, pages, themes, that's a lot of where you can customize and start building your website. So start with themes. You can choose any theme you want. You can click through them. There are different color options. You can customize that if you want to, you know, have it be a color that's not initially up there. You can choose uh, whatever you like. And then after you've picked your color, you can also choose a few font varieties, different styles. So depending on what you like, you know, some have like borders around the title. You can choose a picture. We'll talk about that in just a minute. So go ahead and choose any one that you like. After you've made your selection, if you hover over where it says your page title, first of all, you can click there and customize the title of your website. So for example, I might say funnels portfolio, or maybe it's art portfolio, or maybe you simply just want your first and last name up at the top and not the word portfolio so however you want to do that and then there is a little spot for site name up at the top so maybe that's where you want to put the word portfolio so I could say art portfolio or perhaps I want my name up there instead or in addition then you can hover over the background so you'll notice it says header type and image so under header type you can choose what you want that to look like the first first three on the left hand side there are all variations of a picture in different sizes and then you can also choose just to have a title so whatever you like the look of that initial banner that we had if you go back choose image now you can upload your own image from the computer or you can select and there's a lot of options in here there's an existing gallery that you can choose from you can choose by URL if you have a picture uploaded someplace or you know where one is you can go to Google Images and just search for anything you want, like paint texture might be kind of interesting or cool. And then if you've got photos or Google Drive images within either of those places, you can search from there too. So go ahead and just choose a picture that you like. I think that's kind of cool texture. I'm going to go ahead and put that in. And then you can place it. It kind of adjusts it for readability on its own. You can remove that. So now I've got my home page uh, established. I've picked the theme. I'm going to click where it says pages. So right now this is my home page. And what we want to do for our home page is put a picture on it. So let's go to insert and choose images. You can upload from your computer or again select if you've got it in Drive or you've you know another place that you're sourcing your pictures from. I'm going to go ahead and upload. I've got a folder here just for this you know kind of project we're looking at and I've got just some various photos of my art, a few photos of myself. So oftentimes good things to put on your home page is an artwork you've done, uh, could be photography piece, digital piece, drawing, painting, ceramics, you know, you can choose or you could choose a picture of yourself. So whatever you like the look of, I think I'm going to go ahead and do this first one here. And then you can resize it and I like it in the center, but you can go ahead and place that wherever you like. So after I have a picture on the home page, other things you can do in this little section area, if you want to put a color in the background, if you like the look of that, you can keep it white, just a couple variations you can put a picture back there I just kind of like actually this gray is kind of nice so then we're gonna go to pages we've got our home page finished for now let's go ahead and add a new page we're going to call this one about so a lot of artists websites and portfolios have an about section where people can learn about the artist a little bit about their background so I can go back to insert now there are some content blocks that you can choose from or you can build it yourself if you scroll down below there's different things you can add like an image carousel you can add a button which you can put a link on let's say you've got a YouTube channel or another website you want to link there's dividers social links there's you know different things you can embed but usually the main stuff too is at the top text box images stuff from your drive or embed that's like if you've got a video that you uploaded and you wanted to you know insert that that's one way you could do it so the content blocks 
I think usually look pretty nice for something like this. You can put click and put a picture. Now this top text box, I'm actually gonna go ahead and delete that. Just, I don't think I need that big title. But what I wanna do in this box right here, this is going to be an artist biography, which will be in a different video. But for now, I'm going to say artist biography goes here. So I can remember that I've got a text box and I can put that there later. Then what I'm going to do is insert another picture. So I could do a picture of myself. I could do another picture of my artwork. I've got this picture, let's see, of me in my classroom, which if I go right here to uncrop, I can see that full picture. By the time I get the biography in there, you know, I can, it'll kind of fill up next to the picture. So I think that can look pretty good. So I've got a picture there. Again, if you don't want a picture of yourself, you can certainly just do a picture of your artwork. Then I'm gonna go back to pages and I wanna add another page for artwork. Now there's a couple different ways you can do this depending on where you are as an artist. You could simply just say art or sometimes people like the word artwork or this is where the term portfolio could go because this is where your art actually is. But some people like to separate this out. They like to have a page that says drawing, a page that says painting, a page that says ceramic, a page that says digital art. So you can choose however many pages you want and what you want to include kind of on each one. I'll let you organize that in any way that you want to. I'm gonna actually do drawing and painting as a page and then I'm actually going to space that out a little bit just so it's not stacked and then I'm going to do another page that says ceramics and then another page that says digital art which could include photography as well Then I'm going to toggle back to the drawing and painting page just to show you how to start to create a layout now you can certainly use one of these pre-existing layouts just like we did before so for example the one with four and then I can go ahead and upload the art. And then remember, there is the uncrop button because these do have a crop to them as a square, which like for this radish could work because it is a square already. But for some of my other images, let's say this bottle that crops it. So I can choose to uncrop that. Okay, so this is an example of how you can lay something out. Now you could also do an image carousel if you wanna be able to click through the pictures. For example, you can upload several pictures like this and insert it. Now you won't be able to see it during the build mode, but if you go up to the preview, so if I click the preview mode and then scroll down, you can see what that looks like clicking through the gallery. So it does crop them you know, to make them fit in that gallery, which is why I often like to place them separately, but you can do it however you want, or you could have several different image carousels. And then usually what I like to do is if you wanna give it a title, for example, I call this one Two Birds and it's gouache. This one I can call Radish, it's acrylic. This is Still Life acrylic. And this is Tulip. So as I finish art, finish projects, I can keep building my website. Or if I start working on some ceramics, I can add it to this page and continue to build it. So then I'll go back to home and I need to save my website. So to save it, well, it auto saves in the draft mode, but to make it viewable, I need to click publish. And then what's going to happen is a web address should pre-populate for you if you gave your website a title. If this is empty, you can simply give it a name, like Funnels Art Portfolio works great, but you could definitely title it something different if you want. And then if you click down here, search settings, you can say request public search engines do not display my site. That way it's not viewable. And if this is not available, when you're trying to publish, we can get into this a different way. So you're able to get into it by this little gear up here as well. And you can click this check and then go ahead and click publish. After you've published your website, you can click the little view at the bottom. But if that little view disappears, as it sometimes does, you can also grab the website link with this little link icon. You can copy the link, open up a new tab, and then go to your website. So I always like to check it over, make sure it's looking good. I've got the home page there. That picture's not too big, not too small. I can click to my about. I've got the picture of myself there, my artist biography I'll add in, and then I can click on my drawing and painting page. 
there I've got some of the art and then my ceramics and digital art even though there's no images there yet I can still click through and see those pages. So that is how you make a simple portfolio using Google Sites.